Thank you, Mr. Chairman, dear colleagues. We are discussing now extremely important issue. And really what we see, it's a weaponizing, weaponizing of people, weaponizing of migrants. What can be worse in the human life? Can just tell me what crime could be worse than this? And I just want to stress your attention on the speech of Mr. Bashkin from Russian Federation. It was clear confession that Lukashenko is not alone in what he is doing. Because he, Mr. Bashkin said all, all the myths from Lukashenko. That there are tourists from Iraq. They came because it's Western countries destroyed Iraq. That's why they are so active to be, to see the uh, beautiful Minsk. And then they decided, oh, beautiful Minsk, we can go to Lithuania, it's also beautiful. So we can cross the forest and everything will be great there. So it was complete mockery. Then Mr. Bashkin told us, yes, the Belarus authorities could not guard the border because policemen are very busy uh, defending people inside the country. I can tell you with what they are busy. Uh, two days ago in Minsk, KGB agent, yes, Lukashenko still call it KGB, uh, killed a person, IT man. In Minsk, inside his apartment, because they were looking for opposition, they came inside. He started to shoot, he killed one of KGB agents and they killed him. Just imagine what is happening in the middle of Europe. We know that Lukashenko tortured people, we know that he kidnapped the plane with people in the skies of Belarus. And now he is using people as a weapon in hybrid war. And it's not war against Lithuania, Latvia and Poland. It's war against all of us, all countries who are civilized, who consider themselves to have some values. And we need to react. And the reaction should be strong. We need finally to have in our Council of Europe a permanent group of body which will work on Belarus from day to day, because that's very important. We need finally to have put sanctions, new sanctions, all our countries. You all are members of the parliaments of your countries. Let's raise these questions in your parliaments. You can create groups for democratic Belarus, like we did it in Ukraine, Lithuania, Poland. Please do it in your countries. And let's put sanctions on uh, Lukashenko and real sanctions. Full blockade of Belarus. That's the only way. Full economical blockade. No one tone of fertilizers from Belarus. No one car from Belarus. No one ferry from Belarus. No one bus from Belarus. Not Nothing. We should stop it. We should kill this regime of Lukashenko, like anti-human regime. Regime which is killing people inside the country, which is a great challenge to the security of the whole uh, world. So we should react now, or we will have new crises, and we will just debate. It's not a question of debate, it's a question of action, if we really have these values. Thank you very much. Thank you very, thank you very much.